Hello everybody! Today we're going to see how I draw a black canary from Birds of Prey. Okay, pencils first and then Sharpie. So if you don't want to watch the pencil portion of the video where I sketch the entire thing out, look in the description and you'll find a link that you can click on that will take you to the Sharpie portion of the video. There's even going to be one for color. But for those of you that are going to stick around, I'm going to start off with a quick sketch for myself and get us going. Okay, so as usual, I start off with the body, work my way down, and then I add the detail. And I'm trying to emphasize this because I'm going to start, or maybe I've already started, I really don't know where this is going to be posted in the timeline of posted videos, but I'm going to start um, doing actual real tutorials talking about how to draw. I know this is how I draw, but I know some people have asked if you like, hey, why don't you do like actual how to draw videos? And I think I will, I'm gonna do a few. And what I really emphasize is that you should really sketch your entire image out and then come back and do the detail. And the reason I do that, I'll go more into it in the video, I guess I won't bore you here, but it's just to make sure you get everything in, in the right place the way you want it and then add the detail because I've done it too many times as a kid too, as a starter, as a beginner, and even as a, a professional, you know, doing it now that I've, I've gone in and I've started the detail and you get excited and you start doing this part and you start doing that part and then you realize it's not all going to fit on the page or, you know, it's not going to be in a good position. So it's always better to sketch out the entire thing first that's that's where i'm going to go with that so so that's what i'm doing i'm sketching her out in the position i want and then i'm going to add the detail that's what i'm doing now so there the body is exactly how i want it and the nice thing about this is she's wearing like some bell bottoms so i'm kind of I was playing around with with uh bell bottoms yeah, I was trying to find a better word for it, but I guess there's not. It's exactly what they are. They're bell bottoms. But I was playing around with that look on the material, or on the legs. So I think I'm going to do kind of a, let's see, kind of a uh, arms out position. Kind of look, look at me now. Check me out. You want to mess with this? Kind of, you know, something like that. And in doing so, I'm going to put the arms out like this. And then put this one out like this and that will put because she's going to be holding the baseball bat that will put the bat out like this and that's kind of building a, a big a big uh i hate to say like wings like birds of prey uh but but a very wide uh stance you know that's that's kind of what i'm going for here Okay, and also I'm only using uh, photos from, oh yeah, there's one, let me go find that. From the, the trailer and from the, um, the not the material, the uh, costume. God, my, I'm no good with words, I'm so sorry. I'll say that right now. I say it over and over again. I don't use my words right because uh, it's not who I am. I'm a drawer, not a writer. But anyway, what I'm trying to say is the pictures I have are from the costumes being um, showcased or promoted at, I wanna say like Comic-Con or something like that. And that's what I have to go by. So, let's see. And the trailer, the trailer doesn't show much as you can see her mid, yeah, okay, so this cuts off. You can see her, her stomach like that. Okay, there we go. All right, so there we go, okay. Okay, not too bad. I'm very happy with where it's going so far. Okay. All right, not bad, not bad at all.
And also, that's something else I'm going to talk about when I talk about... <laughs> See? I'm not good with words. That's something else I want to talk about when I talk about... Um, when I talk about drawing, I'm very much from the school of sketching. So I don't just sit here and start drawing a line for the leg. I just sketch a lot of lines until I get where I want it to be. So just draw it over and over again until you're happy with where you are. That's that's what I'm going to say. All right, so here we go also with, uh, let me find, I always lose, here we go, a handle. So I'm going to try to do this without hitting the, the camera. So, so basically, baseball bat's thicker than this. Let me see if I can find something that's thicker. I got a lot of stuff around here. I'm a maker. I make things. Baseball bat, yeah, that might work for baseball bat. So, you want your hand around, oops, you want your hand around something, not completely closed. You wanna make sure that there's something here and your fingers are floating over it, you know? So, in doing so, let's see, so this finger, and this finger kind of up like this this one's like this and the pinky all you can really see is the edge so like that it'll make more sense whenever I do the the sharpie but well, let's bring it down a little bit more and then we'll do the edge um, so yeah, but you want to make sure that you, that you, uh, give yourself enough room to have something in there. You know, you don't want to close it off. I may use the, uh, ruler on this just to make sure I get that, that baseball bat a little, a little smoother on the edges there. So, okay, so uh, let me draw these hands over here real fast. So I think I'm gonna have them all, sp all splayed out, is how the word I'm, I'm going for. Where she's, again, kind of taunting you. Saying, come on, let's fight. Come at me, bro. All right, not too bad. Alright, that'll work. Okay, so let me just finish up the head real quick. And let's see, let me try to find a good picture of her head. Again, I'm all I have to go by are screenshots from the trailer. So hopefully I'm gonna do this justice. Alright. I'm gonna have her looking straight at you. Let's see, she's got a big mop of hair hanging off. That's gonna be a trick too, because we don't wanna draw every single strand, but it kinda of looks like we have to, you know, like, that's kind of the look, you know? Very, very stringy, long, long, long strands of hair. Almost like dreadlocks, you know? But they're not. So, I don't know, we'll see what we can do here, because I don't wanna draw every single one of them. I mean, I do, of course, but, um, think we shouldn't, you know? There we go. Ooh, I like that. So I'm never hair back like this. Come off to the side like that. Here we go. Okay, so let's see if I can I can do some eyes. That looks about right. And let's see, what kind of a face does she got? Is she angry? Is she happy? She looks pretty angry. Nice full lips. That's a bonus because we can we can uh, draw them in. Because a lot of times when I'm trying to draw stuff in, and I'm like, ooh, I just drew a whole lot of lip there. I hope that works. Okay, I think that might work. Does she have her nose pierced? Well, it's gonna to be too small to draw either way. 
So, okay, I think I'm gonna go with this. I think I'm ready to go. Yeah, let's see where this takes us. Okay, so let me erase some of these lines. Not too much because I drew pretty light this time. But I also need the Sharpie to stand out, not the pencil. So I'm gonna erase the sketch lines, really. And then we're gonna start with the Sharpies and I'm gonna welcome everybody that skipped over using the timelines the little buttons or the the links at the bottom of the in the description that link that linked that that let you skip to this portion so okay there's a nice ghost of an image that i can use so let's do that let's welcome everybody so welcome skippers welcome to the sharpie portion of the video don't forget to like and subscribe because i do a single a single i do a drawing every single day and you can join along and have some fun i'm going to be using a sharpie fine point and a sharpie pen mostly the fine point but the pen is a little finer than the fine point and i can find some of the things that the fine point can't quite find so i'm going to start with that i've sketched the entire thing out and i've erased most of it so i've got a ghost of an image i'm going to work with here so i'm going to start off with her face and work out so i'm going to draw her eyelids first just to see if i've got it level where I want it. It looks about right because I had her head I have her head pointed straight at you. It's not at an angle. So that looks about where I'm gonna go with this. So I'm gonna draw some of the iris, the roundest part of the eye. Over here too. I kind of do it one and the other to make sure I've got them at the same level here. And because it's so small, all I can really do for the pupil is a little bit of a dot. Because it'll this will start to bleed and I gotta be make sure that I'm not gonna uh, add too much on here where it starts to bleed out. If you're using a pencil, you're more than welcome to draw the bottom of the eye, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to come in just a little bit like this on each side. And that will kind of simulate that there's the bottom of the eye there, but I can't add it. So I'm going to add a little bit of makeup here, like a little darker top for the, like we'll say the, what do you call it? The, the top of the eye, you know? And, and that'll, that'll simulate makeup, basically, is what I'm trying to say. So I'm going to do her brow now, like this, and the other one like that, thicken it up a little bit more at the front. And uh, for the nose, I'm not going to do much of a bridge, I'm just going to add, let's do this. That's it for the bridge. We'll let color take care of the rest, but with ink, I don't want to add too much. If you add too many details with the ink, it's gonna look, it's gonna stand out and look really crazy. Something this tiny, you kinda have to go minimalist, okay? So speaking of minimalist, we're just gonna draw her nose, we're gonna draw the bulb and then the, the nostrils, like this. And that's about all we can really do. Let me add a little bit more of the bulb there. That's all I can do because, like I said, we're moving so small. Maybe, let's see if we can do this. We'll add just a little bit of the bulb and I, no, I'm gonna stop right there before I go too far. I'm gonna stop right there. So now I'm gonna draw her lips. And I'm gonna draw the open of her mouth. Well, it's not open, but the opening where it would be first. And then I'm gonna add the top lip and the bottom lip, nice full lips. And go from there, that looks pretty good. So now I'm gonna draw the chin. I'm gonna bring it right down the middle. I'm gonna put it about right here. And I'm gonna start to thicken it up too because Eventually, when I move over to the Sharpie, it's gonna, it's gonna be really thick. So I kinda wanna make it fit with what about, what's about to happen with everything else. Okay, so before I start drawing the rest of her, like I'm gonna come up here, I don't wanna go into the hair. So I think I'm gonna work my way down. So I'm gonna draw her part right here and then work some hair like this. And I was talking about the the, uh, the look of her hair in the sketch that she's got some really long locks and I'm, I'm trying to decide how much of that I'm gonna add and how much I'm gonna use with color but they are very specific long locks so almost like dreadlocks so I have to make a decision here when I get there okay but now I have a stop point so I can go ahead and draw her her uh, cheeks to the side of her face like this and let's go ahead and do the other side too up to the side of her face, like that. And I can draw her ear. Something like that. 
and her hair is parted on the side, so I'm gonna draw that. So, okay, and again, I'm gonna thicken it up just a little bit just to try to match what's about to happen. And go from here. All right, so let's see, her neck is gonna come down like this. And that's about all I wanna draw into the body. The Sharpie will take care of the rest of where we're gonna go. I just wanna, you know, give me some start stop points, basically. So her hair is pulled back on this one side, so I'm gonna go ahead and draw some lines like this. Just to show me that it's 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 all, you know, in a in a in a back position, kind of all flipped over. And so now, and some of it's coming hanging down here, so I'll just add something like this, just to show that there's hair on the side here. Again, I'm gonna thicken some of this up. Again, just because I know what's about to happen. And let's see, let's make a decision here. So let's go ahead and draw some of the locks, but not all of them. So I'll just kind of do something like this. And a few more. And that might be all inside. Let's see, how about we, we separate something like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's it. That's what we're going to do. So I'm going to just bring a few of them in. Um, I think we got to draw her shoulder real quick so we know. No, 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 because her hair is going to hang over. So let's, let's hang her hair over a little bit like this. There we go. That'll be our defining edge. like that. So see, now we're building kind of a main and we don't have to draw all the lines, but we can kind of simplify and make it look like there's a lot in there, you know? There we go. So something like that. Okay, so let's do another one over here, kind of showing the, the top of it. Something like this. And that has helped define the edge here. So there, so there you go. So that part I'm not gonna color in, but that one I will, and that'll help define a few of the crazy long locks that are in there. So I'm gonna stop right there, and just gonna, like I said, I'm gonna, like I was talking before, I'm gonna thicken up the outer edges. It'll make it stand out too, as far as the style and design. But also, it'll mirror what's about to happen with the big fat Sharpie. And it'll make it look all cohesive. So there we go. I'm gonna stop right there. That's that's pretty good. So it it needs something there. It needs something there. But I'm gonna do that with color. So we're good. Time to switch over. Okay. So I've got her in a stance with her hands out. So we're gonna work our way out that way. Um, maybe we should go ahead and do the uh, shirt, and that'll help us define a few other things here too. So I'm gonna bring her shoulder down like this. And see how thick that is? That's what I'm talking about. See how thin that is versus this? I just want to blend it all together, okay? So for her, her shirt, she kind of has it open here, but then you can see a black bra on, underneath it. So we're going to kind of come in, draw the shirt kind of open like this. It's going to come up on this side, go back up, I'm going to draw the roundness for her breast, come down here for the bottom of the shirt, then her where it's uh, her stomach is right there. We're gonna we're gonna hook it just a little bit. We're gonna bump basically is what I'm trying to say. Let's go ahead and draw the bottom here for the the, where the pants are. Just just to emphasize that the shirt stops and that's cloth. So we're gonna do the same thing here. Just hook just a little bit and come back up. Draw the other side of the the bra there. And let's do this. Let's uh, let's emphasize. A few little parts with the smaller Sharpie so it stands out a little bit more. So it's kind of like a bra right here. So we're going to kind of come down, bring it up like this, come down around like this and connect it there. And um, we'll just draw some lines like this just to kind of stress the, uh, the material. Now and speaking of material, since it's, it's, it's uh, right there that what I was talking about, that little hook of of material versus uh, skin. So there we can kind of emphasize that. So 
Now we're gonna draw the black part of the, the bra that's underneath there. So we're just gonna draw around like this to where her breast would be, the other edge here, and draw around the other breast like that. Okay, and again, I wanted to do this with the smaller Sharpie, so it's a thinner line and it's a more of a contrast. So we have a style difference here. You see what I'm saying? So let's see, and there is a, a bra strap. So we're gonna go ahead and draw that in like that. If you can, make it super thin like that. If not, don't worry about it. Here we can't really see it. So I'm not even worried about what you can and can't put in there. So that's good with that. That's gonna be black anyway, so I'm not worried about it because black canary, right? Um, she's got a necklace. I'm gonna draw something kind of like this. And it looks like there's pieces that are different color. So I just wanted to kind of do something like that. And there's another necklace hanging down, but it's almost too thin here. Okay, I, I say that, and then I, I and then I do it. I almost said, that's too thin to draw, so, and I don't know what's on the end of it. It looks like, I don't know. So we'll just do something like that. Okay, here we go. Done. All right, so now I'm gonna draw her arms. Let's get back into the detail. And uh, it's basically, except for the little strap on her arm right there, it's just anatomy, it's all it is. So we're gonna draw her shoulder, really strong, her bicep to her armpit, armpit, her elbow uh, um, bend to the forearm, to the wrist. And does she have, let me see if she has, yeah, she's got like bracelets, like that, okay? on both sides, we can't forget that. So here, same thing, we're just gonna draw the underarm to the elbow, to the forearm, to the arm like that. And remember, like I said, there is like a like a, a little strong band that she's got like this. So I'm just gonna add it with a smaller Sharpie just to emphasize that's not as thick as the other one. All right, so now we're gonna draw her hand. I'm gonna draw the top of the thumb in like this. And so now I can draw the fingers following my sketch over the bat like this. All right, so bring the other rest of the hand in. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use the, the, the ruler here and I'm gonna draw, well, yeah, let's do it. We have to do it, right? Because, no, I'm not going to. I'm not gonna do it. I'm just gonna give myself a straight edge line to know where I wanted it to go. And then I'm just gonna eyeball it. Let's eyeball it. Let's do it. Let's bring it back down. Booyah, there we go. Did you eyeball yours? Good for you. All right. So, there we go. I hope you eyeballed it because I did and it worked out and you should always try something different, you know? Maybe it didn't work out, doesn't matter, still try it. Okay, so uh, there's markings all over the bat but I guess I'm not gonna worry about that. Okay, so let's move on to this arm over here. Same thing, just gonna draw anatomy, have it sticking out and gonna draw the, uh, the shoulder, real strong them into the arm, forearm to, ooh, that's a bit long, to the bracelet. Same thing, we're gonna come down here to the elbow, bring it in like that. A little big, a little Popeye, but hey, that's how it works sometimes, you know? In a hand, I just have it out like this because she's a very, very challenged, come at me, bro. So I'm gonna draw her thumb over here, come into the hand, and I'm just following my sketch. So that's why I'm just kind of going in and out and in and out and finger and finger and not worrying about if it's tall enough because I've already sketched it out. I'm following the blueprint in so many words of how I want the hand to be. Okay, so now I'm gonna add a little bit of detail with the uh, smaller Sharpie, but look how much that bled. Look at that, that's way too much. But that's the, the, the thing about using Sharpies, you know? Sometimes it'll bleed, and that's what you gotta do. But I want you to be able to use supplies and tools that you can find lying around the house. That's why I use Sharpies too. Let's just use easy supplies that are lying around that you don't have to go pay for. 
I mean, if you go and, and spend some money on expensive supplies, go for it, do it. That's cool. But I want to do this for you so you have something that you can just grab around the house. Okay, so here I'm gonna draw her belt. She's got a very specific belt buckle, so I'm gonna spend a little bit of time on this. And I'm gonna use a smaller Sharpie just to make sure I have room for these details because I can't quite do all this with uh, the big fat Sharpie. Okay, so I'm making sure those kind of look like they're going across. And I'm gonna have this this uh, bar here on this side like that. And then basically it's like two lines going across like that. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Again, I just wanted it to look very specific for the belt, so that's why I wanted to use that smaller Sharpie. All right, so here we go. Now we're just gonna draw her legs, and I've got bell bottoms on her pants, so. So that's pretty much what I'm gonna do, just draw the outline of it, you know? Then add a little bit of detail with the smaller Sharpie, and we'll go from there. All right, so I'm gonna draw the other side like this. Knee over the boot. Again, kind of out for the elbow. Elbow for the bell bottom is what I was trying to say. Um, that was a little uh, accident. Shouldn't have been there. I, I, I planned that a little different, so let me go and fix that. So the shoe, all I can really do is add this because so much is covered up. So here, let me fix this and add a little detail real fast. So I'm gonna do something like this to add some detail. Well, that's a little loopish. I really shouldn't have done that. I don't know why I did that. I'm just trying to fix just a few lines on the legs here. We'll just do something like that and that'll kind of accent or take away from from the weird loop that I did. We'll, we'll, we'll do it like that. Okay, there we go. There we go, we'll add a little bit of our own flair and style for, uh, for the look of it. And that'll also kind of hide my mistake. It happens, you know, we all make mistakes, but uh, I'm gonna live with it. All right, and that's about all I can really do. We'll do that for the toe, maybe. Something like this. Add a little bit of a heel. And yeah, and I say we take care of the rest with color. Let me close this off real fast. Awesome, so let's take care of the rest with color. That is Black Canary from Birds of Prey. So here is my colored version. You could do it however you like. I just thought I'd show you how I decided to color it. If you'd like to color it like this, you can always pause the video here and use the coloring techniques that I used, or you can just make it your own. Remember, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures of how I draw. Plus, don't forget to hit that notification button to be updated about each new video.